Today it's a Week 14 matchup that should be a good one as it'll be the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Los Angeles Rams. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Rams team as they interplay. They've been flawless these last couple months, winners of nine in a row. And that's the kind of streak you don't see too often in today's NFL since there's so much parity. So the way they've played has been truly remarkable. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Seahawks, they're hitting their stride of late. Winners of three of their last four. And they looked awfully good last week and came away with a two-touchdown victory. They did have a few reasons for concern defensively, but all in all, they'll take a repeat here if they could get it. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. And they're led out by their mobile quarterback out of West Virginia. It's Geno Smith. And they are in rhythm on offense because of him. I mean, right now he's got everything going the way he wants to, finding the receivers the way he wants to, looking over defenses. No interceptions is the number I lock in on before a touchdown pass isn't so bad either. Yeah, what a game he had last week. And Smith, on this throw, finds Smith and Jigba. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. First carry here for Ken Walker. The numbers for Walker from last week's effort. 22 carries, 85 yards, and a touchdown. Ten touchdowns on the season for him, and I don't know whether these goals are written down. I don't know whether they're discussed amongst the team, but I do know this. Every guy who touches the ball as a ball carrier thinks ten touchdowns is a nice round goal to try and reach in a season. Now this throw caught left side, and they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. To the right side, this is Walker. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. You talk about this Rams defense. And they've shown the ability to play tough against the pass, currently ranked number nine in the NFL. And I think with as good as their coverage is, and they're also excellent tacklers, they try to keep things in front of them and either make the tackle or you have to run out of bounds because there's nowhere to go. They'll let them dink and dunk all day long. It'll go as a gain of four, third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Play action. It's Smith. Oh, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. And bulldozing his way through. And the Rams are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. Well, that is a quick lesson on how difficult this defense is to throw against an interception on their initial drive of the ball game. Now we know why their offensive staff spent the entire week awake trying to prepare for this one because you can't totally shy away from throwing the football. But at the same time, you're looking at them and going, where are the weaknesses? How are we going to move it? One of the top defenses in the NFL for a reason. We just saw one example right there. So now the Rams will get their first opportunity with the football. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 11 carries, 67 yards, and a touchdown. Looking to throw on second down. Bush. And that's 10 touchdowns on the season for him on the ground. And remember our meeting with the coaching staff, they did share with us that one of their goals for the year was for him to get in the end zone at least 10 times. And that ramps up into their bigger goal to try and get 20 overall as a team. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back to throw. Bush. Ooh, the juke. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Off the play fake. Bush. Over the middle, it's complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to
to the 35. Rookie to rookie on the hookup there, and it's a first down. From the gun, they'll try to run it. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. And the Rams at 10 and 2 on the year. And they've been flawless these last couple months. Winners of nine in a row. And let's give them a ton of credit because in a league that's built on any given Sunday, any team can win. To run off this kind of a streak, this kind of a number, that's pretty darn impressive. On first down, Bush. Flush to his right. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. 22 yards. And the Rams use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, yeah. What he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. So that drive goes eight plays. And the finishing touch was that nice long run into the end zone. The Rams kickoff team on the field. And here we go with the ball in the air. And he'll elect not to return this one. So they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Seahawk football here to start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. Trying the left side with Walker. And he works free. There he goes, left side. Yeah, he's got to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And 22 more yards there and another first down. And going right back to Walker. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 45. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback. And this is caught. Touchdown. Ken Walker. His 11th touchdown of the year. And the Seahawks are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. It oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off. And now it's blocked. That's a long ball scooped up by the offense. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> they don't care if it was luck or skill, but the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get... Looking up into the roof, and he muffs it. It's loose. Williams to return. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. So this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, old momentum, 
He's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side. And all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. And he'll be stopped short of the first down right around the 18-yard line. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. Here comes the Rams punter now. Back deep for the Seahawks, Tyler Lockett. It's taken to the 26. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Kenneth Walker headed back out there. And he's sure looking like a lock for a 1,000-yard season. Don't know if he's going to get it in this game, but he'd probably like to just to get past that point. Yeah, and if he doesn't, as you noted, there's still time, still opportunity. There's still more games to be played. So, yeah, it's not a lock, but barring injury, it certainly looks like he's going to get there. And what an accomplishment that is. Anytime you get over 1,000 yards, you're celebrated in the NFL. It's been quite a season. Still a couple chapters left in that book, though. Throwing now is Geno. This complete to lock it. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It'll be a loss of two on the play. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackled him for a loss. Throwing on third down, Smith. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's miles away and smiling. And happy. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Throwing again is Smith. It's caught. Block it. And that's good for a gain of six. And it'll be second down. It's a pick up of six. Brings up second and four. It's a win. It's a win. Now Smith. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this room for a long time. He's in the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. Gino now to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. The L.A. defense up to snuff in coverage there. Pushes this to fourth down. And now Nick Full, his career long, 56 yards. This from 54 yards away. Folks, kick is good, and they jump back in front here. It's 9-7. to seven. So that Charles, a season long right there. And you know who's really excited about that? The special teams coordinator, because he's the one who has to tell the head coach in pregame, this is where we trust him from. This distance, he can hit it, and he repaid that trust by knocking that one right through. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. And mark him down to the 40 at the 39. On first and 10, Bush. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Off play action, Bush. Now he's loose down the middle of the field. And he gets this one down to the 24. 
The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Nifty move. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Operating from the gun, Bush. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. It's their quarterback in the final seconds of the first half. And the Rams have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. He continues to show at this level that he can not only pass for touchdowns, he can run for touchdowns. Not the first time we've seen this because this young guy, he really makes it happen. So what that tells me is the book on him has to change. you got to now plan for those legs as well as him throwing the football. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he's going to lose yardage, not that it matters, as the final seconds tick away. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. So we've come to halftime in a five-point game. Rams going to get the football first here, and they look to build on their lead as the second half gets started. Taking it about the one. And he returns this to the 22. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. And Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead now, a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game as a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it, and in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. Back-to-back -to -back good plays have them on the move on first down. A handoff as they run the counter play. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 62 yards rushing for him now as his fine rookie season continues. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily. Break a few tackles. Gain some additional yardage. And he'll be out of bounds. A big play there on the catch and run. 32 yards. One of the things that led this organization to commit to him as a starting quarterback as a rookie, his ability to keep his eyes downfield and make plays out of the pocket, able to see the receiver while on the move and complete a really accurate throw. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And he takes it across for the Rams touchdown. A great effort there. His 11th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Rams take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point attempt to come here. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. The drive summary that time, five plays. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. This taken in right around the goal line. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Now we'll see what this Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. 
Now the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, manageable spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. On second down, it's Walker. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Now Smith. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. It's a loss of ten on the sack, and it leads to fourth. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Now here's Michael Dixon as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce. Didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. A Barton has a Barton deep. A beautiful spin and who the run. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Throwing on first down. Bush. He shakes him off. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. But a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Second and ten. Here's a give up the middle. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Here comes the Rams punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. He gets this away. It's a good one, drawing toward the sidelines. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. And they'll run the option to start the drive. Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. And now the Rams have got it. Going the other way. And they'll stop him at the one-yard line. But small consolation there following the turnover. All the practice, all the training, all the meetings. In this situation, I know exactly what quarterbacks are taught. Take care of the football. That's job one paramount. Because you cough it up here, you might be giving up six points real easy. Tip of the cap to the defense, though, forcing the fumble. From back at the four, here's second and goal. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. And Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise. This close to the goal line? Because ordinarily, you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defender. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. A great play there. His second touchdown of the game, giving him 12 on the season. And the Rams will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Well, fair to say they've got something here in this rookie running back, and he's in for the second time of the ball game. And, Brandon, it's a position where there's often a lot of turnover, a lot of competition at that spot. But he's proven to them that he wants to be the bell cow guy that his franchise can rely on. And he's got it. So the try for two successful, and that bumps their lead up even further.
Rams kickoff team on the field. And here we go with the ball in the air. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Here's Smith now on second down. This is Fant on the short completion. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Gino. And he's got Smith and Jigba. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. 25 yards that time. From the red zone now, Smith. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they've forced in this runaway contest. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop in behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. They're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Here's Smith. This one goes underneath to Walker. And they're going to drop him well shy of the first as he can only make it to the 11. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Here we go on fourth. Smith. And this is going to be intercepted. Broken tackle. And the Rams are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. Gets past one man. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. 81 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Right back to him on first down. And a missed tackle there as he pushes forward for a gain of four. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. What's not cool about the game there on second down? That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Now a play fake here on first down. Rolling to his right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. And he'll get about two there to the 36. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. 
treads him with a stiff arm. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. That one looks like he'll throw here. Sliding out of the pocket. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And this is caught. Touchdown, Rams. A big play there. 50 yards. And the Rams add on to their lead. And it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. Extra point splits the uprights, and that stretches the lead all the way up to 27. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Now the ball now going back over the Seattle Seahawks offense. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers and he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. And a return across midfield into the 46-yard line. So many times we end the game, and as we're recapping it, we're talking about what offenses did and how they won the game. Let's flip this one over. The defense, they frustrated the offense the entire ball game. That's why they're walking out of here with a victory. And they're going to love to walk out of here with that as their final act, that interception. Good way for them to end it. Second down and three. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. Here comes third and about a foot. Hands it off out of the gun. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Yeah, they would have been happy with the first down, but this is even better. Once he's past the marker, it's cream cheese from there. And he bumps it to the outside, and it's just going to run away from defenders on his way toward the pylon. Now the try here for the point after. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. The drive there only spanning three plays. And a pretty good run there in the end to top it off. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. Well, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. Now it's Smith. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. One last throw here for Smith. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to fourth. Oh, wait, hold everything. A timeout has been called. Seemingly silly with one second remaining in this game. This is brought in at the 21.
Well, Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the title as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this.